Plankton are a diverse collection of organisms found in water that provide a crucial source of food to many small and large aquatic organisms. And they are essentially the keystone species to the entire aquatic ecosystem. A keystone, for those that aren't aware, is the central stone at the summit of an arch, which more or less locks the entire arch together. If you take it out, everything crumbles. And plankton are very much the same. When you take them out of the equation, the entire aquatic ecosystem crumbles apart. With implications that would be as far reaching as to not only affect humanity, but the climate of our entire globe. In fact, it's not just the aquatic ecosystem that would be damned if this little organism disappeared. We'd also face an extinction crisis too. In this video, we'll be exploring the importance of these tiny little fellas, and what the world would be like if they suddenly vanished overnight. There's no doubting it, a sudden disappearance of plankton would lead to the complete collapse of the entire aquatic ecosystem. In addition, if all the plankton disappeared, it would increase the levels of carbon in our air, and amazingly, affect the climate of the entire planet in the process. But what are plankton, exactly? Well, there are six groups of them when judged according to the size of the organism. The largest plankton are known as megaplankton, followed by macroplankton, mesoplankton, microplankton, picoplankton, and then femtoplankton. The individual organisms constituting plankton are called planktas, which sounds like a really badly named YouTube prank channel, but I digress. So plankton can be tiny, but they can be somewhat large as well. And there's some surprising organisms that you wouldn't think to call plankton, but they actually are, such as jellyfish. And the reason for this is because plankton as an organism are defined by their ecological niche and level of motility, rather than by any phylogenetic or taxonomic classification. So if an aquatic organism is unable to propel itself against a current or wind, it's more than likely a form of plankton. Phytoplankton are by far the most important group, at least as it pertains to this video. They're the plankton that use photosynthesis to convert light energy into chemical energy. But there are other forms of plankton that are divided into five different trophic groups. But phytoplankton is the MVP for this video. So back to the all plankton die overnight scenario. Perhaps one of the most surprising facts is that the level of oxygen on our planet is intimately tied to the existence of plankton. People might think that trees are the ones that are doing all the hard work, but up to 50% of the oxygen that we breathe is produced by plankton. It's spectacular to think that something so small can have such a profound impact on things so astronomically large, such as the climate. But plankton are the marine food chain's primary producers. They take energy from the sun and use it to convert carbon dioxide into carbohydrates which nourish ocean life. Nearly all small marine predators eat plankton as their primary food source. So if plankton were to disappear, then the predators wouldn't be far behind. So these guys are used to being the stars of the show, for better or worse, as every animal that lives in the sea relies on plankton in some shape or form to survive whether that be directly through the consumption of it, or indirectly through the consumption of something that relies on it. Or that relies on something that relies on something that relies on it. You get the idea. The entire chain is set up in a manner that seems so flimsy with just one domino needing to fall to induce a rapid downward spiral, and yet it survived numerous extinction events. The good news is that if they were to go extinct, humans would have about 100 to 150 years worth of oxygen to either resurrect them, engineer a replacement, or spend our days fixed to a tube of oxygen like an astronaut in our own planet. It's so easy to doubt the impact that small organisms have on our lives, but it's often the tiny ones that have the most profound and terrifying, or on the flip side, beneficial effects on our lives and the health of the planet. Whether that be through oxygen produced by marine phytoplankton, the life saved by the discovery of penicillin, or the hell experienced during the Black Death. But even without the effects that would occur to the planet's oxygen levels, the entire aquatic ecosystem crumbling would lead to a global food crisis, as many communities are entirely dependent or very reliant on the ocean as a source of food and income. The socio-political repercussions would be enormous, and riots, civil unrest, and war would undoubtedly follow. And all because one little guy disappeared from the planet. So even though he's small, he's definitely the most important guy, or gal, out there today. So respects to you, little fella. Thanks for watching.